This is part 3 of our e-audiobook video tutorial series that shows how registered library patrons are able to borrow or reserve an item. It's assumed that you are already a registered user, covered in part 1, and that you are able to navigate around the site to find the item you want to borrow, which was covered in part 2. Once you've signed in, you'll see that you can have an idea of what your loan status is by looking here above the search box. This particular patron has two available loans with no current loans or reserves. When you've found the item that you want to borrow, you can quickly see what the status of that item is. In this case, we can see along the first line that there is one item that is currently out on loan, which means that you won't be able to borrow it straight away. All of the other items, however, are able to be borrowed. Once you've picked an item that you would like to borrow, it's a simple thing to actually just select the borrow, and that's essentially the same as taking an item off the shelf. You've looked at it and you've said, I do want to take it out on loan. At this point, once you've had a closer look, you can say, well, actually I don't, and you can cancel it by selecting the red cancel option or you can confirm the loan, which is essentially as if you're taking it to the loans desk. We will confirm the loan. What's this, what this is doing is it's actually saying, yep, against this particular patron we'll issue this item. And what you then get is an email that comes out to you confirming your loan and the loan period is for 21 days or three weeks and that email will also have on it a link so that when you actually go home it will take you to this page where you can actually download the item. So once you're at home if you're doing this in the library you'll be able to download the items directly onto your PC and then onto your MP3 player. If you are doing this from home already, then you can continue on straight away and either download the complete audiobook or download the first part of an e-audiobook. At the end of the three week period, you will get a reminder to actually delete the item off your PC and your MP3 player. From here you can continue browsing too, so you can go back and say, well, I've got one available loan still, so I'll see what else there is available to me. So we'll continue browsing. And in this instance, we'll actually say that the one that I want is already out on loan. So we'll go back to our e-audio books and our junior or our children. and we'll have a look to see what's available. And the one that I actually want is already out on loan. Now this gives you the ability to reserve an item. And you'll see it straight away because it'll be orange. And it'll also give you an idea of the date that it'll become available. And the more reserves there are, the further out this date will be. So for each reserve, which means it's a loan, there'll be another three weeks added to it. So if I did want to reserve this, I would click reserve and as before you will need to confirm that you do want to reserve that item or you can cancel. If you do reserve an item you'll get notified via email when that becomes available and again it will have a download link on it that will take you to the download page and from there you can download and enjoy your e-audio book. That concludes part three of our series. Uh, which talked about how to actually borrow and reserve items. If you want, you can continue on to part four of our series, which will talk about um, your account and how to look at your account details. Thank you.